Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Pavan. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, positive versus uh, negative testing. So what is positive testing? So positive testing is a uh, the type of testing that can be performed on the system by providing the valid data as an input. So if I test an application with the valid data, that comes under the positive testing. And if I test an application with invalid data, that comes under the negative testing. If I say simply. So positive testing is a type of testing that can be performed on the system by providing the valid data as an input. So here we need to always provide the valid data and check whether we are getting the expected output or not. So that is positive, te positive testing. So basically it checks whether an application behaves as expected with the positive inputs. So this test is done to check the application that does uh, what it is supposed to do. So for example here, this is a text box and uh, enter only numbers. So this text box is allow only numbers. So if I provide the values from 0 to 99999, so if I give any number between this particular range, so this particular text box should allow. That's called as a positive testing. Okay, now let's see negative testing. So negative testing is a variant of uh, a testing that can be performed on the system by providing invalid data as an output. So invalid data is a as an input. So it checks whether an application behaves as expected with the negative inputs. So this is to test the application does not do anything that is not supposed to do. That means, so we have an application. If I test this with invalid data, if I test application by providing invalid data, it will just restrict the functionality so it should not happen according to the customer requirement for example if i provide valid data it should pass and if i provide invalid data it should fail if it is failed our test case will pass this is called as a negative test case so if i provide valid data our test will pass if i provide invalid data our test should fail so here failure is our expectation if it does provide invalid data then it is failed that means our test is pass that is called as a negative testing so here if you have a text box, uh, it is asking only numbers, but if I provided some alphabets here, that comes into the negative testing. So negative testing can be performed by entering characters like A to Z alpha ca alphabet characters and A to Z lowercase letters. And this should restrict. If it is failed, that means our test is passed. That is called as a negative testing. Positive testing and negative testing. In the both the testings, we need to consider input data an action which needs to be performed and what kind of result we are getting. So that is output of result. So to, pay, to prepare this positive and negative testing kind of uh, inputs, we will use a certain testing technique like uh, equivalence class partitioning and boundary value analysis and so on. So by using these techniques, we can prepare the test data, which is some positive and also negative. So we'll discuss these uh, techniques in the coming videos. So thanks for watching this video. So please subscribe my channel to get uh, more updates. Thanks.